The Notorious will be welcomed back to the Octagon by his fellow fan favorite in his first outing since his ill-fated trilogy fight with Dustin Poirier. A date for the fight hasn't been officially announced, although McGregor has seemingly ramped up his training in recent weeks. The UFC's first simultaneous two-weight champion recently shared snaps of a hard training session with long-time striking coach Owen Roddy at SBG Charlestown to his Instagram page. McGregor, 35, looked lean and mean as he cracked the pads, which prompted several of his followers to tip him to make light work of Chandler. One of his 42 million followers, commented, you will destroy Chandler. Another said, you gonna dance on Michael's head. A. Third added, titanium shin one to the cranium. While one asked, Chandler who? And another chimed in, it's time. And. New world champ. One of the Irishman's loyal fans even said, biggest return in the sport's history. McGregor hasn't set. Foot inside the octagon since suffering a horror leg break against long, time rival Poirier over two years ago. But. The Dubliner has got himself fighting fit again thanks to a long and painstaking rehab. The delay in announcing the. Date for McGregor's blockbuster return seemingly stems from his continued absence from the United States Anti-Doping Agency's testing pool. McGregor removed himself from the pool during his recovery and UFC policy requires fighters re-entering it to be available for testing for a minimum of six months before being eligible to compete. His clash with Chandler was seemingly set. To land on the final pay-per-view card of the year on December 16 until he missed the deadline. To re-enter the pool for the minimum six-month period. McGregor can, however, still seal an end of year. Return if the promotion opts to give him an exemption to the six-month written notice rule which they can. Grant in exceptional circumstances.